Hey everybody, so I wanted to jump on here real quick and I kind of wanted to give a recap of what I learned today from Gary Vee. You see, every single morning I listen to a podcast episode, I try to read a book, I always try to start the morning with something that's going to be a pick-me-up, that's, that's going to get me through the day, that's going to remind me of what my goals are and how I'm going to get to my final goals. Today I listened to um, Gary Vee's a live talk in New Jersey and he had captioned it as it being one of his best talks ever and so of course that piqued my interest and I thought okay well why is it one of his best talks ever I've watched so many of them something that I found really interesting and different than most of the talks that he does give is that he finally drove home the message of it's more important for you to be happy than it is for you to pursue your own private plane or luxury cars or all of these things that you think are gonna make you happy but that in the end are not gonna make you happy. A lot of influencers nowadays, you know, always try to use the private jets and the luxury cars to lure you in to watching their Instagram stories and to searching deep within to figure out what's gonna motivate you to start making that money. But Gary Vee finally said like, listen, it's all about happiness. You have to figure out like where your happiness lies and then try to make a business of that. Because at the end of the day, you could be doing something that you really, really hate, but if you're not happy, then how in the hell are you going to stay motivated? According to Gary Vee, some of the reasons that people don't pursue their ideas or their goals or their dreams is because they're worried about what other people are going to say. So lots of times you're worried about failure, but you're worried about other people watching you fail. The first time I heard that, I thought, wow, like maybe that really is the reason that a lot of people don't pursue their dreams. You know, people are worried about how, you know, how they're going to be perceived, but not necessarily of the failure. What do you think? Do you agree with Gary Vee that people don't pursue ideas sometimes because they're more afraid of people watching them fail or because they're afraid of the failure itself? Back to what I was saying about how everybody you know thinks that being a lawyer being an accountant being a doctor is like the guaranteed way to succeed in life and while those are very successful professions not all lawyers make a ton of money not all lawyers are extremely happy so are you more of the happiness or are you more of the guaranteed path to success type person but if you're watching this video no matter what I just really want to tell you that I really hope that that you do pursue something that you've been you know wanting to try for a really long time and in terms of business of course so like if you've been wanting to start a business if you have an idea if you always thought gosh I'm never gonna make it I'm not pretty enough I'm not bold enough I'm not confident enough I have no business experience I don't have a college education I don't have a college degree for that matter I'm never gonna be a professional I didn't do good in school there are so many negative things that you can say to yourself but the reality is is that there are you know self-made billionaires out there and self-made millionaires out there that don't have a lot of these degrees that you think it's going to take to make you successful. So the fact of the matter is, is that if you want it badly enough, you can make it happen. If you believe it, you can do it. And that is something that I always, always say to my family. If you believe it, you can do it because that is the reality. Your mental strength is almost half the equation. If you can get yourself to be in a place where you believe in yourself and you believe that you can get there, of course, making sacrifices along the way, like putting in the works, you know, saving the money. Don't go on shopping sprees. Maybe invest that in, you know, advertising. There are sacrifices that you're going to have to make along the way, of course, but I really hope that people are pursuing things that, that make them happy and that people are taking risks on ideas that they want to bring to fruition. Because if you never try, you'll never know. And I remember my law school professor once said, if you never ask, the answer will always be no. If you don't basically ask the universe to work in your favor and conspire for whatever goals and dreams you have, then how in the world is anything ever going to happen for you? You know, in another video, I'm going to share with you my own personal story about where I was when I was studying for the bar and then when I was, I'm sorry, when I was doing my internship then studying for the bar and then starting a business and so I think everybody you know makes this assumption that oh, okay you pass the bar and so now you're a lawyer and so then you're successful but you know you don't watch the journey and so I want to share that part with you in another video but this video mainly is to encourage you to pursue whatever dream you have on the back burner because if you never try you will never know there's a zero percent chance of success if you never try but if you try and you succeed the sky's the limit